Hello YouTube, this is Brent Time from Team Lucky 7 Gaming, and this is the Elder Scrolls What We Know So Far series, Episode 1, Locations. Let's get into it. This is a map of the magical world of Tamriel. Tamriel is where Elder Scrolls 1 through 5 take place, and Elder Scrolls Online is no exception. But, Elder Scrolls Online takes place in a multitude of provinces unlike the other Elder Scrolls games other than Daggerfall. Let's begin with the most recently introduced province to Tamriel, Skyrim, from the Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim. It's the farthest region to the north, and it also contains the highest mountain in Tamriel. So let's start with some terrain features. So, it's very mountainous, it's a very snowy, and it's got few grasslands. It's home to the Nords, as far as you may know. And don't expect it to be the same as in The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, because the game takes place a thousand years before Skyrim. Now we move to Cyrodiil, the capital province of Tamriel, and also the province that The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion takes place in. This province contains the Imperial City, which is the capital of Tamriel, which also contains the White Gold Tower. Built by the Elvins and taken by Tiber Septim himself. Now you may ask, why is Cyrodiil so important to the Elder Scrolls Online? Because PvP takes place here. And you want to know why? Because this is where the Emperor sits, because it's the capital. And all the factions are trying to seat an Emperor from their guild, faction, whatever you want to call it. So, how is the terrain in Cyrodiil, you may ask? Very grasslandy and mountainous. If you go back and play Oblivion, you'll see. I mean, there's that one river, Black Lake, and such. Uh, but this is a really nice province. It's my favorite. And it's also home to the Imperials. Now we move to the province of Morrowind, where the Elder Scrolls 3 takes place. And I don't know very much about it, so I'm going to try and do my best. I know a river goes through it as far as you can see on the screen, as far as terrain goes. It's also very volcanic, has mountains, and has a little bit of grassland and some snow. And being home to the Dunmer, you can expect it to be very, very scary. Finally, we have Daggerfall. From the Elder Scrolls II, Daggerfall. It's in the region High Rock, and it will be highlighted on your map. Okay? Daggerfall I don't know much about as well, because I'm way too young for it. And, as far as I know, it's very mountainous region in High Rock. And it's home to the Bretons, so you can expect it to be very mountainy. Now, that's all the provinces we have confirmed. Others will be in the expansions and DLC. Not really sure which else they're going to confirm, but that's about all I know. So, see you guys later. Please click one of the annotations in the video at the end to see other episodes, and please go back to the menu which is in an annotation above. Thank you for watching. Welcome to the Elder Scrolls Online What We Know So Far series, hosted by me, Brent Time. Please select one of the menu options now to be taken to any of those videos. Thank you and have a great day.